But this Stealth Fox, it's gonna take you to the promised land. It's consistent. Just don't get crit. Welcome back to another Dan Squared video, you Danimals. The seven star Empoleon Terror Raid is here and it is brutal to solo. Many of the builds that work don't work consistently. But I do not have an original build for you today. Instead, I have a build given to me by the Danimal Link. Good job, Link. They have given me this Delphox build to share with the people that consistently solos seven star Empoleon. Let's get into it. Here's a high level look at Link's Delphox build and there's the seven star Empoleon that we took down with it. Underneath it, you'll see Shady Raids Gallade, which I also used to solo on stream. It's a really great raid. Go check that out if you have not already. And up top, Above Delphox is a Fire Terra Vaporeon that I covered in my Empoleon preview video that you can also use to take down Empoleon. Here is Link's Delphox build that I used to solo, 7 star Empoleon, Terra Fire of course. It has max special attack EVs, max special defense EVs, and the final 4 in HP. It has a modest nature to further increase its special attack while lowering its attack. After all, it is a special attacking build. It has the ability Blaze, which helps us but we're not going to be using it. We are going to be skill swapping it over to Empoleon, and Empoleon doesn't have any fire typing moves. We're doing this so that way Empoleon can't boost its special attack with the ability competitive, because especially when soloing our AI allies, they are going to use just debuffing moves. Their menaces, they don't care. Our main attacking move is actually two. We're going to use Flamethrower. That's going to pack a little bit more of a punch with a chance to burn. But most of the time, we're going to be using Mystical Fire because it only has 15 less space power than Flamethrower. And it's the key to this build because it lowers Empoleon's special attack by one stage. And we can do that once we skill swap. Lastly, we have Nasty Plot to power up Mystical Fire and Flamethrower. Uh, this build has max IVs and everything except for attack. Its held item is the Shell Bell held item for some recovery. Now it's time to use a Pokemon that used to be featured as an unrivaled 7-star Terror Raid against a new one. Turn 1, Skill Swap. We need to get rid of that ability competitive to make sure that our lovely AI allies are not sabotaging us. But I'm looking at you, the AI allies with Intimidate. You're going to want to just reset if you get those. You should check out the short I just released earlier this week. It tells you how you can reset your raids to make sure that you use the same three every single time. But right now, turn two, Mystical Fire. We're gonna get knocked out after one or two Mystical Fire. That's not a big deal. But going back to the AI allies, your best AI allies here are Belly Bolt because it uses a turn one light screen to half the damage you take from special attacks, like Sir, or Gardevoir, which will use Life Doom. But Intimidators are a no-go. You're gonna get knocked out once, that's okay. And while I'm knocked out, let me take a second to thank the Danimal Link for building this video, building this build, featured in this video rather. This is not a build that I came up with as you saw earlier. So now once we're back, we're gonna nasty plot two times. That's gonna increase the amount of damage we're gonna be able to do. The good part of being a fire type Pokemon is, is that we get stab mystical fire. It's gonna do a lot of damage and it's gonna lower Empoleon's special attack by one stage. So already we're taking far less damage from Surf. So let's use that second nasty slot. And we're gonna start swinging with Mystical Fire until we're able to get Empoleon down to minus six special attack. Once we get Empoleon down to minus six special attack, then we can switch over to using Flamethrower for a little extra damage. We do have the chance to burn Empoleon, which isn't gonna help us a ton. It'll get a little extra damage. But Empoleon is a special attacker, so it's not going to reduce any damage from physical attacking moves. So we're going to eat this Surf, and while we're eating this Surf, I want to hear from you Danimals. What has been your favorite Pokemon to use so far against Empoleon? Soloing this thing has been quite the challenge. I mean, I'm recording this 4 hours and 42 minutes into the night one stream. That's even later than I recorded for Mewtwo. This thing is tough, because it presents that uh, a couple... A couple issues, the first one being that ability competitive, you need to get rid of that. And then Blizzard Surf, everything, it's just hitting for a ton of damage. So we need to terrestrialize as soon as possible and hit for big damage with Mystical Fire so we can start restoring more HP and continuing to lower Empoleon to minus six. 
the sad truth of this build is a critical hit now at this point is just gonna end our run and you'll have to just restart and there's nothing we can do about it right now let's go ahead rip yes all right that's more like it that's the damage we need there's the crit holy cow there's a crit so that's gonna we needed that we need to restore some hp so even without the crit we, we restore a ton get some hp so there's the first nullification okay the first nullification we're not gonna do anything about it. we're not gonna re-nasty plot we're gonna wait to the second nullification so see at minus four we're gonna keep mystical firing but do please pay attention because once we see that second nullification we need to nasty plot again if we don't we're not going to be able to do enough damage to break the shield and we won't be restoring enough hp so you need to really stick to this script here uh in the description of this video i'll write it all out the turn by turn don't worry about it mystical fire it's going to go down to minus six this maybe breaks at what point that'd be good 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 so we should see the nullification coming as well here yeah, I was able to solo with Grumpig once, but unfortunately it was because of RNG from Driftblim lowering the special defense. I also was able to solo with Shade, the, the Danimal Shady Raids Gallade. Great build, go check that out. I'll try to link that in the description. All right, there's the second nullification. So at which point, at, once it's nullified and the shield's broken, let's just go up, let's go up, let's nasty plot. And so there's the iron defense. Let's nasty plot. Let's go all the way up. I believe we, let's just go all the way up here. So it doesn't. Yeah, because that's it skips a turn attacking. Let's get up to plus three. Then we can really start swinging for some real damage because it's going to be it's going to be close. We're going to need all the clock here. Surf's not doing much because we got that plus six again. I can't stress it enough. The critical hit will end the run. But because you're watching this, that means there is no critical hit. I'm not going to. Why would I include something? I'm not gonna include a critical hit in the build video, come on. I'm not gonna get crit. So now we're at plus six, we're big chilling. It's still at minus six, nice. So that means minus six uh, special attack still, we can go right to flame thrower. We will switch back to mystical fire once it nullifies its debuffs, which is probably coming right now. Nice, we're chilling. But yep. So at which point, we're going to go oh, back to Mystical Fire because Surf does a lot of damage and we just can't, we can't have that. Can't have that. So luckily we're faster. We're going to Mystical Fire and we will be able to do enough damage and live. And so long as there's no crits, which clearly they're not because you're watching again. Why would I get crit? That would be pretty funny if I made a build video like this and I just lost. Like I made you watch eight minutes of a video <laughs> and like, yeah, no, this doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's been a long stream. Anyway, the grass knot, fine. Go ahead. So there we have... Yeah, just gonna keep swinging. We can we can probably switch to Flamethrower here. I'm gonna do one more Mystical Fire to be safe. That'll be... This Delphox build... <laughs> does not solo 7-star Empolia. No, it does. It does. It easily loses. It be easily loses to. But no, this... I don't even know what we can put easily. Uh, maybe consistently solos? But this is, it's like clockwork. Flamethrower, we're done. Again, thank you to the Danimal Link. And another shout out to the Danimal Shady Raids. A great Gallade build. But this Stealth Fox, it's going to take you to the promised land. It's consistent. Just don't get crit. That's it. That's all you need, baby. What Pokeball are you catching 7-star Empoleon in for me? Got to be the Heavy Ball. I feel like it whole matches the Metallic vibe. There's not a lot of gray in Empoleon, but I like it. Honorable mention to Netball and Lure Ball, or even Great Ball. But let me know in the comments while you're catching your Empoleon in. Let me know in the comments what you are using to take down Empoleon. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment, or using Mystical Fire on that subscribe button for more Dan Squared. Thanks for watching. Happy Empoleon season.